So can I save all 50 US states from a zombie invasion? And of course, just like any zombie invasion, unfortunately the humans end up being a bigger problem than the zombies themselves. To start things off, we have to figure out where we want to set up shop. Uh, we also don't know exactly where the zombies are going to pop up at. Now I always like having it New England and the Mid-Atlantic because uh, those are pretty easy territories to get. If I can corner myself off, I would feel pretty good about that. Oh, so wait a second, are the zombies? Okay, let me get Pennsylvania real quick. I already have at least one. One extra unit per turn now. Are the zombies going to pop up? We're not going to know where the zombies are going to pop up. I'm going to go ahead and get South New England now because uh, we might pretty easily be able to kick out uh, black from Vermont and purple or whatever that is pink from Maine. Now am I kind of, I don't, I don't really know, but am I kind of messing myself up because it's going to be a zombie mode? Do we not actually want all our units to be in the same spot like this? I mean, I'm going all in over here. If a zombie outbreak is mainly in the East Coast, I think I'm done for. I guess I'm going to go ahead and grab Georgia. So everything is along the east coast i really gotta hope that zombie outbreak starts up in the in the pacific so first things first i really gotta protect these two areas i might just let georgia and south carolina die i also have to kick out okay don't 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 do that don't add stuff there across the board uh no one has a full territory just yet although we have to watch for purple they could get the rocky mountains they have three well of course in the pacific coast could go to yellow they're close as well yeah i think i'm just gonna load up right here boom 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 but i do think that the zombies could pop up in one of these states and then I think it just I don't know how it works. I'm pretty sure the zombie outbreak pops up randomly and then infects Everyone in that tile and then you're done. You just lost most so maybe it's a good idea to spread out a little bit I'm gonna put some in New England. Okay, maybe I'll put a little bit more in New England. Oh, man I'm so scared. Okay, 7-7. Seven, seven. There is five black in central New England. Really don't like that. Hopefully they can like fight it. Oh, okay We got really lucky. So that is how the zombie outbreak works It literally turns the entire tile into zombies and now there are six here in northern New England. They're also attacking me That's great. Uh, they they kind of okay. They're they're attacking a lot of my stuff. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is already so bad. Okay, so the zombies have 22 units. They're also fortifying. I am really scared right now. The zombies, I think, are gonna get more units per turn than humans as well. I don't know for sure about that. Yeah, we need to. If we can control the zombie outbreak, then we can just make this a regular game of risk. The problem is that I'm gonna have to cut through black and then try to kill six zombies up here in North New England. I really don't want to have to do that. So everyone is on board with trying to wipe out the zombies. The problem is that I am going to be the problem. I'm not hitting this five stack so I can hit a six stack right after that. Like that's a, that's a disaster waiting to happen. Okay. I'm a little bit worried. Purple put six right here in West Virginia. I think you're going to be focused. The AI is focused, I think on taking out the zombies, but the zombies got so lucky up here in the corner. That is going to be a big problem. They have six already. Oh, and now the humans are already beginning to fight. They're not even worried about the zombies. Look at that. They are literally, I said, I, I really didn't want this. I did not want all the zombies to be on the East coast of they were on the west coast would be way better off okay so i have access to seven troops right now maybe my focus here is to fight i mean kick just black out and then just stay there i don't mind that idea i think that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put all 14 there and then i'm just gonna go after black hit this five stack now i can maybe a hundred percent chance of winning attacker has favor in a tie Ugh. i'm gonna do it okay wow I, that was not as bad as i thought it was gonna be all right okay so we got really lucky there i'm gonna have to move these guys probably do we want to i'm gonna protect the there's only one zombie troop in north carolina for now i'm gonna put most of my units up here we're gonna protect the northeast now unfortunately yellow cannot kill the remaining zombies we are not gonna wipe out the virus that easy not on turn one yellow is down here in florida they're not really worried about it they can't even take yeah four stacks not gonna reach all those zombies Florida also has the Pacific so Florida uh, yellow sorry is gonna already kind of pull ahead here as maybe my number one enemy all right so how many are the zombies gonna get there only four only four zombies have risen from the dead I have a chance to maybe kill the zombies oh when they wipe out a tile oh when they wipe out a tile they get all the units in that tile oh that's not good okay okay I knew there was gonna be a catch to this now black is not gonna be able to do much to stop the zombie horde and of course just like any zombie movie or whatever you want to say humans are just attacking humans right now they think that we already have the zombies handled and uh that's how the zombies get uncontrollably powerful honestly i'm probably gonna make the same mistake as well i'm not focused on taking out the zombies to be honest I, if pink wants to do it that's cool i'm gonna focus on my own thing 
don't care about anybody else. We want to go for the Appalachian Highlands or the Midwest. Okay, pink helps out a lot. I have to stop pink right now. The zombies are just going to have to wait. I cannot let pink get the entirety of the Midwest. Even though it's only three extra troops per turn, if I can break them, I might as well. Okay, West Virginia, can you, or purple, can you stop putting so many troops here? Oh, they actually have a chance of maybe wiping out the zombies right now. And I think it's done. I think they're already gone. They pop up again, though. They're zombies. Well, for me, I'm just going to wipe out Ohio. Maybe spread my troops out a little bit here. I think I'm just going to keep it like that. As long as I get uh, a card for attacking, I'll, I'll just keep it the same. Uh-oh. Uh, so you've infected what? North Carolina? Oh, whoa, whoa! Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I did not mean to. Okay, I, I think I skipped all the AI's turns. What, what, what has even happened? Okay, yellow looks good. The zombies do come back. They're going to continually come back. Yeah, I'm going to put most of my troops here and get all of these guys out of uh, South New England. Yes, yeah, so we're going to go there. I'm not focused on wiping out the zombies completely. I love that we have this, uh, what is it, the Appalachian Mountains? They're going to protect us a lot here. I actually could wipe out the zombies if I really wanted to. I guess I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so I wiped out the zombies. Do I get anything out of it? Do they, do they have cards? No, I don't get any cards for that. Uh, and then that's it for now. And now that this is protected, I can move Virginia troops to Georgia. Now we still technically three different regions. We're in the southeast, the Appalachian Highlands, and the Midwest. We have to focus on one region. I just saw an opportunity to get a lot of tiles there, and that's what I decided to do. Okay, yellow is about to they're dangerously close to getting the Rocky Mountains. So the infected as long as it's not me, like as long as it's not my territory. So infection has now popped up in Louisiana. Let's see what they do from there. And they get three extra units. Can you pop up and like, you know, mess with yellow instead? Why why me? Why over here? So it is possible for the zombie outbreak to spawn in like like back this way back in New England that would be so bad I really need to try to hurt yellow as much as possible black might be the third strong member here I don't want to hurt black too much but if they're coming into my zone that's gonna be a problem black now has the southwest so that's four extra units per turn now I can pretty easily get the Appalachian Highlands but the, the other question is can I defend all this land that's the problem so we have seven troops and I have pretty much seven different armies I can keep this in Ohio I can easily take boom boom I don't really have a strategy for this I'm just gonna go for it. We're going to go out of West Virginia, out of the West Virginian mountains and attack Kentucky. We're going to move them all over and then I'm going to attack Tennessee so we can get our third region online. Oh, I didn't even realize I killed somebody. Oh, well, that's right. I forgot. I need to pay attention to that stuff. Okay, six of six. We also can trade in 12 more. This is actually huge because I can now start to, I can go in and, oh, I actually can't break black this time or probably not. Can move into Mississippi, get a second region. Or wait, no, I need Louisiana and, okay, I need to move across. I don't want to play too conservative here, though. I mean, I'm not going to do it. I don't know what's going to happen if the zombies pop up behind enemy lines like that. Okay, I move, need to move the seven from Georgia into Ohio. Ohio was kind of a weak spot. Yellow is putting some in Missouri and some in California. They're probably going to break black for me, so I don't even need to do it. I don't know if I can get the kill with purple. Someone's got to get him out of the code. Oh, in my territory. That's great. In my territory of Tennessee. Oh, they just stole so much from me. They took that whole army out and now they have 12 units. <gasps> oh my goodness. This is not fair. I did not think they were that strong. Okay, well this changes everything. I was feeling really good about this game and then they just stole that whole segment. Oh wow. All right. Well, at least I still have my three extra units per turn up here. Why do you guys continue to pop up in the east? There are more smaller tiles, so I guess the chances are more likely that they pop up over here than in the Pacific. Okay, so I still have the strongest army in the game with 37, but I was so out far ahead. Do I have a matching bonus? Yeah, I do. Yeah, kill kill them for me, please. Thank you. Can we stop with the zombie? I, man, these zombies are so annoying. I forgot how annoying they were going to be. Or I didn't even know how annoying they were going to be. I didn't realize they were going to do that. Okay, so I have seven per turn, and we have a trade available. We're going to do that, so now it's six. So they did really wipe out my army. Um, but luckily we are back. I can kind of get a little fortification off the Mississippi River. I can put all of them here and then probably just boom, boom, all the way through. But are we going to be able to defend that? That's a lot of land to defend. Probably not. And then if the zombies do, if they steal a whole army from me like that, this is going to be a problem. Okay, so how much are we going to lose from this huge invasion of purple? Oh, man. I don't want to kill purple, though. Or I don't want other people. How much? Purple has five cards. Okay, we have to go. I think we have to go on a crazy recon mission and kill purple. Yeah, we can do it. We can do it. And I'll finish figure out everything else later. Do you need a lot to, it, it, four should be good. Four should be good. I'm going to go there. Do I want to worry about setting up defenses? Five maybe? Okay, this is, this is fine. And then from there, okay, so we do actually have some defenses. I'm going to get more than likely, definitely going to get a matching bonus out of this. And now 12 more cards. Perfect. I don't got to worry about, oh, you know, we, all we need to do is get the southeast and we'll control a huge chunk of the map already. I think I have to put them all right here. And then black doesn't need to be broken. Luckily, Missouri can only attack into Illinois. So that's, that's good. I think. Okay. Yeah, we need to 
move more troops into there. I got a bunch of three stacks like hidden way behind my line, which is going to make zombies powerful depending on what state they spawn in. Okay, yellow's just cashed in on 10 extra units. So yellow's at 41. We got to be very careful with uh, how strong yellow gets. So they now have the Rockies. They probably could get the Southwest if they really wanted to. Maybe they will. Now there's a, there's a black seven stack, so maybe not. Where is that going to be? Okay, good. It's in the yellow territory. Thank you. It's in Arizona. Let's see what the zombies do now. They also are getting stronger and stronger as we go deeper into the game. They're getting more units per turn. Don't come after me. Don't do it. There's a 13 stack. They could easily break me if they wanted. Wow. They didn't do it. Do not like seeing that. That Those zombies are not going to get wiped out. It's probably not by me. But what happens if you don't wipe them out? How, do they get stronger that if you don't wipe them out on that same turn? The AI seems to really think you got to take out the zombies like immediately. So I'm a little concerned about that. We have another trade available. Can I kill black? That's the big question. I've got 12 more. I can kill black, but at what cost? It's going to cost me a lot of troops. Well, I don't need to take out these zombies. I would just like to. Yeah, I'm going to have to. I'm going to take out these zombies here. Uh, black has three cards. Okay, first things first. I'm going in there. I guess I'll just do something like that. And then I, I have a 38 stack to attack these zombies. Very nice. I'm not getting any cards from killing the zombies, but that's that's fine. Okay, now I need to start setting up. We're going to keep eight, maybe eight in Oklahoma. Okay, so the more territory I get out of this map, the more likely the zombies are going to pop up in my zones. Oh man, we're not going to be able to defend certain parts. They, they can easily break us if they want. I need to probably move this six to here. I've got such a big army and they're spread because I'm having to defend so much land that the zombies could very easily pop up in a state and steal a bunch of a territory from me. Uh, it's just me and yellow. So yellow is going to probably try to break me here or maybe not. Now we have to just see what the zombies do or maybe the zombies don't do anything. I'm just going to put all 36 here and then figure it out. <laughs> That's obviously been the theme here. Okay, so I'm breaking yellow and I'm also trying to get uh, my own territory before the zombies pop up. Maybe there's a certain percentage. Maybe sometimes they don't pop up some turns. How do I do this? I guess I can go like this. Uh, can I win right now? I actually might be able to win right now. We won't even need to worry about the zombies. The big problem here is this six stack, but if we can take them out, then it's over. Yep, we should be able to take them out. I wasn't even trying to go for the win right now. All right, those zombies are really not fun. I was actually kind of scary. I want to see the zombies in the other maps. And big thanks to my patrons. Help, this is the real Drew. I was kidnapped and that's the Drew's imposter. Argentinian the slow, grandpa. depressing Ralph, the Polish, I kidnapped Drew, his ransom is five filet of fish, and why am I doing this? 308 Negro Arroyo Lane.